Hi, it's Lori, the armchair chef. I have some information that I want to put out about the August Mystery Yarn Challenge, but the special entry, the special entries, the special, um, the special projects. If you if you want to enter the four or the three special projects that were just the yarn that you got in your box. And if you had any additions, they had to be hidden or completely covered with yarn. Um, okay, I've had some questions, so I want to put out the information. Now, what I have, am going to do is I'm going to be, the judges have to see these. They have to be able to see them. And I don't know how many people are going to have entries. Um, you need to email me your pictures of your yarn that you received and the pictures of your projects. Now, the best, I'm doing this because I want you to present your project the way you want it to be seen, okay? That's how it'll be judged. I don't want you to say, well, I didn't give, give them the best picture. That's why they, it, they didn't get a good shot. I want you to be in control of how your picture, your project is judged. So if it's not a good picture, that's on you. You have that power. Um, so what I want you to do is you send me your email with the attachments of your yarn that you got and the projects and what you want to enter. One, two, or three. Do you want one to be the most creative presentation? two to be the most silliest or three to be the most useful or, or um, you know, the, the one, um, you know, the more most useful one where it's, it's an actual can be used. And um, what it is, and I, what I'll be doing is making a, like a slideshow like I did for the finales and letting the judges know. Each person's gonna have their own little presentation. And I'm gonna try to keep it anonymous. So if you're not in the picture, the person won't know who it is. I'm just gonna have player numbers on it. I'm not gonna say, oh, this is uh, Jolie's or this is Becky's or this is um, Cecilia's. I'm gonna put player one, player two, player three. So if you're in the picture, they may or may not know who you are but I'm not gonna say who it is on purpose. Um, I'm gonna just give you player numbers and they're gonna say which player number they think is the best for whichever topic it is. So I want you to be in control of how your project is presented to the judges, okay? So an email, category one, what are you what are you entering in category one and what is it? And the picture. Same thing category two, category three. Okay. Um, and I think that answers some of the questions. If there's any more questions, go ahead and put them at, on this video. And you're gonna have to comment on the video anyway, because it's gonna be part of the the um giveaway for uh week four. If you want to uh, be entered to win in this video to be, if you want, you, you don't have to comment. You just won't be in the video if it gets picked for the prize for week four. So, okay. Now I want to give you a peek. I am so excited about this project, but my hands have been hurting so bad. I haven't been able to work on them. I just took my, um, my morning meds and some, extra strength Tylenol. So I'm hoping if my hands don't hurt just sitting here, then I'm thinking I should be able to work on my project, but they've been going numb and everything just because it worked. Oh man, I did it again. I turned off my screen. I think I figured out how this happens. Ta-da, I'm back. <laughs> I figured it out. I want to show you because I'm so excited about it. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Is this gorgeous or what? The colors. What this is, is a, 
it's what you only can tell what it is by the middle. It's a spiral with three colors. And there's variations of this. Yes, you could do one color double crochet and one color single crochet. So you have a skinny line going around and a fat line going around. So my thought is I can do another one of these with other colors and do a single, a half double and a double crochet with three colors. And isn't this just, isn't this just the most beautiful thing? It really is. I'm just, I really, really want to see. I'm going to keep going until the pink is gone. And um, the pink's the one that's been used the most of my projects because I did that section with the bobbles. Bobbles use a lot of yarn. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm going. That's why I want to keep going. And you just, what you do is eventually they all catch up with each other. And you just come up to this one point. And when you get, when, when the pink comes back up to the top, you just go down to the orange and you go all the way around. And then that orange comes up to the top and you just, then you do the green and you go all the way around. But then when you get to the end, they suggest, these are sections. A section is this big right here. And it gets bigger every time you go around because you do a double crochet. Or I mean, I mean two, you get two, you get do two stitches together in one to keep it kind of flat. So this is how big a section is. And then you'll come back and then the next section's here. So that's the increase. And it's just, it's amazing. I love it. And I have, um, there were, oh yeah. And there is a, a, a beginning to the new round and they suggest just keeping, this was Crochet Crowd is the one that I decided to do, use from Mikey. And he suggested just, carrying a string up so you know where the round started at the main part of your round so when you decide to start finishing it off you would go to this part to start your final your final round and the suggestion he made was to go around making each one smaller so it would like end at a single crochet so it wouldn't be just a a finish you would go around and then at the end you would finish with a half double and then a single so it would get smaller so yep right now i'm on the pink and it's coming out because my hook came out but i just use safety pins on them because you know i have a gazillion stitch markers but i always end up just using my safety pins <laughs> But yeah, and I'm using this one is a 5.5 5, and I should be using a bigger hook. My hands probably wouldn't hurt so much, but this is the one I happen to have. And the yarn's not splitting anymore. It was splitting on my other project, but it's not splitting on this one. So I'm not sure what the difference is, but isn't this just the coolest thing? So at this point, it's about two feet across. And it's not really big enough for anything, unless I want to, like, the other lady said, you know, I want to make a cat bed and I can attach this to something. Um, or a pillow, but it would be in the round. So I'm just, that's why I'm just going to keep going until it, I, this is really my, an extra project. I already did one with the Leon and I already did a hat with the other yarn. So this is really an extra project, so I don't really have to finish it. Oh, excuse me, because I don't get judged anyway, but I really, really want to. So, yeah. That's kind of what my plan is today. If I keep going, my hands don't hurt. I think I can get it done today because the pink will run out. I'm almost well. This is how much pink I have. And because it's getting bigger, I think I can, but I'm only doing it once every three rounds. But I think that if I keep going, I can finish this up today and we'll see how big it is at that point because then I won't have no more pink. So now I'm sure I have more neon somewhere if I wanted to do more pink, but 
at that point, what I could do is finish the pink and keep going with the other two, but I don't think it would look as good. I really don't think so. I think once the pink's gone, then I'm going to be finishing it off. I'm sorry, I got something on my eyeball besides my finger. So, okay. If you have any more questions about the August Mystery Art Challenge and how to present your projects, um, and yes, my plan is to take your picture, put it in for the um, regular August thing, but then take an F another one, use another copy of that to use for the judging because I'm going to write on it what it is, or I'm going to use it in a uh, some sort of presentation, say what it is, and you know, a picture collage. You know, like I do for the finales, but I want to make it so that the that it's a good size so they can see it. And if you want to show two angles, a front, a back, whatever, I'll, I'll do the best I can to make the presentation, um, so the judges can see it. And um, so that's how it's going to be. Um, be sure the lighting's good. Uh, some of you have done videos and they're quite dark and I don't get very good pictures, but I figure if you take pictures, instead of sending me video, I can get a better look. At, it'll, it'll, it'll be better for your, for your project. It'll look better. Okay, guys, that's some information on it. If you still have more questions, let me know below in the comments. And um, I'm going to have some cooking stuff coming up because I'm going to make that salad today. I just have to get the energy up to do it because I was at such a Thursdays are very rough on me <laughs> because I have a very long day and one of the girls is off work and I have to do all the packages plus do my job both. That's when my hands hurt so bad today because we have, um, because school's back in session, the university is the, the mail that I do. Just one building had 120 packages because everybody's sending their kids to school and they're mailing their crap to them. Instead of giving them a prepaid credit card and letting them buy the stuff once they're here, which would be the better option, okay? We have Dollar Tree, we have Walmart. They can go buy their own stuff and have it sent to them by Walmart, not by us. <laughs> We had one building got eight packages from Hawaii because they're sending all their crap to them. And we're getting stuff that they could be buying here. It doesn't need to be mailed. It's not cheaper to mail it. It's, I saw, I mean, you know, I didn't open the packages, but some of them, you know, are, are busting open and shipping. I saw a bath mat, you know, they're sending sheets. Things that they could just buy once they get here. Give them a damn credit card. Give them a hundred bucks and say, okay, go buy the stuff you need for your room. Oh my gosh. It's so much cheaper and easier. Amazon will deliver it. We don't have to do it. 120 packages just for one building for one day. And I'm getting that almost every single day now. You do not need to mail all your crap with your kids. Mail the Christmas gifts. Mail the care packages. But you're junk you don't need to send it okay god they're just gonna you know what happens to the stuff at the end of the school year they leave it in the room and it gets thrown away or donated to a local charity you don't need to spend it money mailing it when they're just gonna throw it away anyhow uh-huh they don't send the stuff back home yeah they don't it gets it gets thrown out they leave it in the room. What happens? Toasters, um, hot plates, microwaves, lamps, fans, all that stuff gets left here. And the housing departments, they gather that all up and either they'll take it to the thrift store or they keep it because it's just sitting there. The students leave it there. So yeah, that's what happens. So, okay, just, just a PSA. Let your kids buy the crap when they get here because then they can get what they want and it's cheaper than mailing it to us. You'll make me very happy. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks for watching. And I hope that answers some of your questions. And I hope you loved 
my spiral as much as I do. Okay. All right. Bye.